Okay, my final, my final word to you is, and I promised, if you remember, that I'd share something about what I learned on my trip here. Um, and I've entitled this, What Brought You Here Won't Get You There. Meaning, what brought you to this present moment in your life and your career and in the team and as an organization in the habits or the movement that you want to make to succeed in this great vision that you have. This is an organization who is doing so many wonderful things to break uh, injustice around the world, to deal with those places in people's lives where they're feeling disempowered. And that's a wonderful mission to have as an organization. To make that happen, you've got to be able to break your limiting mindsets. Would you agree? This is a book written by Marshall Goldsmith, great uh, leadership coach, uh, and it's a great read if you want to have a look at it. I want to illustrate this by just sharing with you what happened to me uh, on my journey here. And if you remember, I was supposed to arrive in Singapore on Sunday morning and then actually arrive here on Sunday evening. But the crisis happened meaning that when I got to the airport in Portland, I was sitting on the tarmac for seven hours, and then came the real risk that I would miss being here until Monday evening or Tuesday. Uh, and what happened to me was something what I now see as miraculous, and I want to share with you the way of actually breaking mindsets, limiting mindsets, that stop you achieving the possibility that you want to achieve, both for your individual lives and for the team goals and the organizational goals that you have. So there I was, and I was on the tarmac, and they kept announcing and announcing there was a delay and a further delay and a further delay, and when I got off, got off the flight, because the captain said, everybody off, at 11 o'clock of that night, I realized that I was missing all potential connections to be here on time. My environment or my <coughs> circumstances were limiting me. And I had a choice then. Am I going to let my environment stop me? So the first issue that you have to overcome is your environment. As you look around your environment, there are all sorts of issues that you need to face. I chose, literally chose, not to let my environment condition what would happen. And I did that by doing what? Having a mission in front of me. Our company, my company, always puts customers first. And that drove me to know that I was going to be here. I'd also made a commitment to Sally and to Colin to make sure I was here and where's Sally? And if you remember, I wrote a mail to you saying, I will move heaven and earth to be there on time. What could I have done? I could have said, there's no hope. The captain said, we can't go. The people that I was in the queue for four hours waiting to redefine my fight or reroute my flight kept telling me, it's not possible, it's not possible, it's not possible. But I decided to be stronger than my environment was trying to tell me I should be. What kept me going for there was a really strong sense of mission. What do I believe in? What am I about? The second thing I decided to master was my body. I left the previous meeting at midday on Friday I had nothing to eat, and I hadn't slept very much the night before, and by midnight, I was in the queue. And I was in the queue for four hours, waiting for them to try and find a route that I could come to. How do you think I felt? I was exhausted. I was hungry. My body was saying to me, give up. But I said to myself, and I remember at 3.45 in the morning, um, 
when the next woman who was dealing with me came in, I thought I was going to collapse. But I strongly said to myself, no, I am stronger than my body. I am bigger than my body. And so I decided, as well as conquering my environment, to also conquer how my body felt. And that kept me going. Also, I decided to be stronger than time. Meaning, as I looked at the schedules that they were giving me, everything said, based on previous experience, this is not possible. If I looked into the future about the flights that they were giving me, they also wouldn't get me here on time. How did I combat that? By staying in the present moment and still reaffirming positively <coughs> the mission I had that I would be here on time. And by staying in the present moment, I think, suddenly at 3.45, this woman came to deal with me and she started looking. So I call her my <coughs> guardian angel that somehow manifested because of my positivity and deciding that I would be bigger than my environment, bigger than my body, and bigger than time. And she found a route that nobody had looked at. Now, it took me five flights, five <laughs> flights instead of two, but I was so pleased. Uh, and when she finished, so I'm bigger than time, when she finished and found me the route, I just relaxed. As I relaxed and went to find uh, a hotel, because I didn't have a hotel in Portland, guess what I came across? A group of Star Wars troopers <laughs> celebrating uh, children and a charity called Make-A-Wish. And the charity said, if you wish strongly for something with your intent and with your emotion, then it will come to pass. And as I came across this group of people, all dressed in Star Wars uniform, one of them had the, what do they call this thing that lights up? Lightsaber. The lightsaber. <laughs> and they gave me the lightsaber, and they literally said to me, you are a hero. <laughs> that was part of their routine. But it was one of those synchronistic events that just came out of nowhere that made me feel really good, because by then, I knew that I would be here on time. So what did I do? I saw my circumstances. I saw the limiting constraints that I couldn't make it. But I decided to be stronger than my environment, stronger than my body, and stronger than time to make sure I was here. And somehow, what happened conspired to make my wish come true. The final thing was I had a team supporting me. We are about teamwork here. The team that was supporting me was a group of people that I spent last week with deciding and, de and learning new things who were constantly sending me WhatsApp to con encourage me, to support me, to say it's going to be fine. And I knew, and when I talked to Sally, because I told her uh, the flight was actually you know, late, I felt Sally's support and I felt Colin's support. So when you are trying to break habits, and break limiting beliefs, make sure you have a group of people around you who are holding you up. And what it means is, don't go back to your previous habits of thinking. As you are now stepping out from this week to be the team that you want to be, make sure you have an image of the future that you will achieve and focus on. So my last words to you before I call uh, Colin, to just close the program, is in your personal life and in your life as a team, recognize that there are old habits of thinking that if you want to achieve the possible dreams that you want to achieve, you've got to let those habits go and you've got to recognize that when you focus to be bigger than your environment, to be bigger than your body and to be bigger than time, something somehow will come to you to light the way for you to achieve what it is that you need to achieve. Does that make sense? So I know I've no need to really explain that. You're a spiritual organization who knows that there is guidance and support that can come to you once you set your mind to it. So I'd like to thank you
for these two days. I hope I haven't felt too tired. Myself, I didn't feel tired. Yesterday, you kind of really energized me, and despite having no sleep for 48 hours, I loved yesterday. So when I got to my bed, I told you I just collapsed and slept with my clothes on. Why I enjoyed it was because I felt the energy of everybody here. Uh, so really a delight to work with you, real delight to work with you, uh, and I wish you all success. And I know I'll see you again anyway uh, over the next two days, but maybe also in the future. So good luck with everything that you want to achieve personally uh, and as a team. And remember, no limits. Thank you.